Hey guys, today we're here to talk about propeller installation and synchronization. So how you install your propeller and how you synchronize propellers. Now the first thing you need to do before you get your propeller is you need to grease the splines. So make sure your splines are good and greased and make sure that they are a water compatible, meaning you'll need a lithium based grease. Uh, I recommend either your manufacturer or like a good uh, 2,4-C or extreme grease and just coat the whole shaft and especially the splines in grease. Once we've done that, we're going to get our new or your normal propeller and put it on. And allow it to seat all the way down. Once it's seated all the way down, <clears throat> we can then install our prop nut. So with your propeller nut, you're going to hand thread it and then get your tool. And you're going to want a piece of wood so that we can jam it in between here and it doesn't scuff or mar the propeller. Once we've got that, we can use a ratchet. Once it's tight, then we're going to come in with a torque wrench and torque our prop nut. Okay, so we have torque. Now we're going to get into, now that we've installed one, we're going to get into synchronization of props. So as you're looking at your propeller, if it's a three and three blade, it's much easier to determine. If it's a four and three blade, uh, it's a little bit difficult. If it's a four and three blade, aim your four blades down so you have a gap right here. With this right here, we are going to introduce our second propeller Right about there. See so if you can see that straight on. See how there's a gap here? That gap is uh, where water won't be. It will not be right here. So what we don't want is we don't want two propellers overlapping at the same time like this. That is an improper synchronization. You need your propellers, and I'll show you why. Look, so here we're not completely centered. The props are off at an angle. So we are going to set this perfectly like this, and then this one, perfectly like that. And now we have it so that that skeg is always covered, but water is always coming across the blade. Hey guys, we work really hard to try to bring you these videos, so if they help you at all, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll try to help as much as we can. Thank you so much. Okay, so now that we're looking at the propellers, as we turn it, regardless of where we have it, that uh, centerpiece is always covered by a propeller. So what this does is it in turn helps the water flow uh, uh, through the propellers so that uh, we're, we're, we're doing much better. If you sink both of them, so if you have it like that, if you synchronize it like that, you can see that there's a gap here that you can clearly see all the way through. So if we synchronize it like this, where both blades are together, there is a gap. So we, we don't want this where two blades are covering over the center here. Because see how if the water is moving off of this blade, it will miss this blade entirely. So this blade will not do anything. So you're really using five blades at a time instead of six. As it moves here, it will finally grab the water coming off this propeller. But what we really want is proper synchronization. So let me grease this shaft and we can put this on. Okay, so now we got our correct propeller synchronization, meaning two blades out, center blade in. You could technically also do it this way where you have that blade centered and then you look, you look at, at this blade, but you always have the center covered. So that is propeller synchronization installation. We'll tighten our last bolt and this drive is done. Alrighty guys, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments below and thank you for watching.